YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here after you hit the subscribe button if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to my secondary YouTube channel, Tony Harvin Network. I greet everybody upon this evening for sure, man. Uh, it's around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Shout out to everybody in the chat room. Shout out to everybody who's going to join us live to talk about these uh, stories that's going on out here in the news uh and whatnot you know what i mean i know my disclaimer i'm not a pastor preacher i don't hold any type of office in the church so please do not lay claims of those titles on me so if you happen to hear background noises and whatnot that is the children or that is the tv upon whatever kids shows they watching you understand that because i know a lot of people like that they like to the ear hustle what's that noise in the background you know what i mean just the children just the children and tv shows and whatnot so we we had to talk about a couple of stories that's going on out there. You know, a couple of people suggested, a couple of people suggested. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely talking about that Maryland bridge collapse, uh, what have you? Um, P Diddy, <laughs> you understand? Donald Dump and a couple of other stories out there. So um, shout out to uh, Courtney M. Shout out to you, Hope Ball as well, uh, Beverly Palmer. Um, TNT News, shout out to y'all. Um, let me see. I got to scroll down the list. What's up to Sister Claire? You said new member. Appreciate that. As Sister Claire, who became a member to this YouTube channel, Tony Harvard Network. And I thank you. Definitely appreciate that. God bless you and your family. You know what I mean? And those, I know all the other new subscribers coming to this YouTube channel. Uh, it's a wonderful blessing for sure. For y'all coming, subscribing and stuff like that. I don't beg, I don't ask, but I definitely appreciate the support of whether you subscribe or hitting that notification bell or becoming a member to this YouTube channel uh, for sure. It's a blessing. All right. I'm um, Courtney Amy says, can you touch on the topic of hip hop cops in relation to Diddy and New York or not? Uh, hip hop police? Well, I'm not too sure if hip hop police is uh, connected with uh, P. Diddy. Um, that's like a federal type of thing that he's dealing with uh, and what have you. You know what I mean? And, you know, the feds, they want all they want all they want all the smoke with that situation. So I'm pretty sure they don't want no city cops in their business. You understand? But we shall see. What's up? The uh, Bible battles. He says the truth of God is the truth. He says Tony is still at work. I'm in. Oh, yeah. I was caught up at work earlier. I was going to start it early. But, you know, we got caught up a bit. As always, with this uh, Charlotte traffic, it's pretty crazy out there. You understand? So uh, please forgive me. Yeah, and I appreciate you for saying, give him time to get home. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate that. I really uh, do. What's up, the V Coleman? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Uh, Henry Ross states that what's really going on in the Diddy situation because uh believe that it's deeper, not just him alone, but the whole Hollywood sick propaganda witchcraft rituals well i stated this to somebody earlier you know what i mean people reap what they sow you know what i mean we don't know too much what went on behind the scenes and whatnot but there's a lot of allegations upon him and what have you and i'm pretty sure mr combs is not going to be the last person dealing with this stuff you know what i mean why why can't these uh folks like him just sit back you know have a beautiful wife and enjoy life that's it you know, they want to get themselves in all this type of mess. You know what I mean? All this type of mess at all. You know what I mean? All right. Um, What's up to Mary? Shout out to you. Appreciate that. I hope all is well. What's up to Maddie? What up? What up? What up? So the Maryland, so the Maryland thing, the Maryland thing. Oh, man. So the Maryland situation with the bridge collapsing and whatnot. I wanted to go to somebody um Facebook page because they had the video of the bridge uh, collapsing and whatnot. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to remember, you know, being that I'm a truck driver and what have you, I'm trying to remember that I ever take that bridge. And I probably took that bridge maybe maybe a few times and whatnot, you know, but it was a sad situation uh, seeing that happen. All right. Um, let me see if I miss anybody else before I uh, proceed on. What's up? The bless, bless. Shout out to you. Hope all is well um let me see what's up to uh sandra says the world needs 
much prayers. I definitely um agree with that for sure. You know what I mean? Because all this stuff that's going on in this world, especially with that bridge situation. Listen, these folks, these folks didn't know that they was gonna go like that at all. I mean, just imagine, you know, and some of them was construction workers working on the bridge uh and what have you. They had this one fella. Let me see. Um I had I had this story. I think it's right here. I got it. And forgive me once again if this connection is kind of like buffering. It's always every time I do a live or something like that, the connection just want to mess up all the time. I could be doing anything else on the computer, but the moment I do a live or something, that's when it just messes up. I don't know why. You know what I mean? So forgive me. All right. Um, I think I, I think it's this one right here. All right. Okay. Check it out. So they stated that um hardworking, humble man with spouse and children, what we know. So these are two fellas, two fellas, one two 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 of the fellas that was uh caught up in that uh mayhem on the bridge and what have you. You know, and like I said earlier, we will hope those individuals um you know new christ and things like that just imagine you're either working or you're, you're driving through a bridge and what have you and it just collapses quick and when i saw the video it was fast it was no time to roll down the window or anything you know what i mean it was doomsday just imagine somebody was on their way getting about to get some cutty somebody was on their way to work so going to see a family member something and you driving and that's in the and that's in the, the middle almost the middle portion of that bridge you know and a ship just collided with the bridge how is that you know what i mean like i said a lot of them did not know that their day was going to come just like that so you got to think about it you, you see people off excuse me, i saw people on facebook somebody on facebook had a a, a swift truck in the waters hitting the bridge I don't find that funny at all, not one bit. But you know how the internet is. They like to make jokes about anything until it's them or their mothers or their grandmothers and stuff like that. Internet will make a joke about anything. A baby could, a baby could pass on. They make a joke about something like that. This is how ignorant the internet is. They say the internet is unde undefeated. No, the internet loses every day with their foolishness. You understand? All the foolishness, all the stupidity that they put up for laughs and jokes some of the stuff ain't a game ain't, ain't nothing to play around with it ain't a joke you understand and, and granted that if it was their family members if it was their spouse or something like that they'd be mourning well r.i.p this person r.i.p that person every day all day but when it's a situation that that has nothing to do with them they want to make a joke about it they want to play around with it they want to make these videos of funniness and stuff like that I don't find it funny at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if the person was saved or not. You don't play around with stuff like that because you could have a boomerang effect. You sitting there joking around like that, then next thing you know, you're going to go at the end of the day. People is dropping like flies. Some people curse themselves, not only with their mouth, but with their actions. You understand? All right. Furthermore, who else, who, who we miss? What's up, Michelle B.? Shout out to you, Christopher Spann, one of my channel moderators. They see Hollywood is getting exposed to enough celebrities, athletes, rappers. That's Hollywood, but also and regular um, slim, slim life. People are getting exposed as well. You see on the news, scandals, uh, trafficking rituals, all sorts of wicked, evil and criminal activity from major corruption, excuse me, corporations that lead stores closing down. Uh, the cover ups are no longer covered. <laughs> <laughs> what's up the classified information shout out to you hope all is well you know hope all is well for sure he said is the show canceled no the show is not canceled sometimes i gotta put an extra five or ten minutes because you know i wanted to eat or the camera's not working or the internet is messing up like i like i mentioned earlier every time i come on his live you know what i mean something is always messing up but when i'm doing something normal outside of live it works fine you know, so sometimes that happens. I got to make sure everything is on point, you know? All right. Um, 
You said as far as Trump as a wicked nation deserves Trump. Usually the people vote exactly who they are in, in spirit. So it's only right if he was to ever have a uh, political tie. Mm. So, all right, we're back to this uh, Maryland situation. I mean, let's scroll down a bit uh, and what have you. They said uh, two of the six construction workers presumed dead after a massive container collided with the uh, the bridge and whatnot. Two. Two. All right. So this was one of the guys, Miguel Luna, is is the first uh, of the six victims who went missing. All right. When the bridge collapsed, Miguel Luna. Wow. That's crazy. Here's, here's another guy right here. I really don't know how to pronounce his name. Maynor. Maynor. He's from Honduras. He's another one. I'm pretty sure they're going to be, um, you know, digging up uh, and, and trying to see if they can find more people. I think I read one part in the in the story where as though they found two people in a pickup truck in the water and what have you. Like I said, just, just think, you know, if that was you or your family members, just imagine if you're riding in your car and you got your kids, you got your babies and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And and, and something like that happens. Just use your mind. But people want to make a joke about everything. All right. Um, what's up? What's up, Diva? What up? What up? What up? Uh, hope all is well and whatnot. What's up to uh Latanya? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up to uh Rock Sam? Shout out to you. Christopher Spann says, I could go on for hours about smoke screens of Trump. Trump, you know, there are a lot of Trump supporters out there, you know, a lot of a lot of riders out there for uh Trump and what have you. Excuse me, a lot a lot of people want to see Trump back in office. You know, what I mean, some people we had Mr. Ham on here, he voiced himself a couple of weeks ago about Trump. And one of his statements was he had more money in his pockets when Trump was in office. Now, is it all about money with some people? I'm not saying Mr. Ham was about money, but when you think about it, I'm like, eh, you could be right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With all these gas prices going up and all this other stuff going up uh, when Biden is in office. But is Biden to blame for all those situations going on? Mm, it, make, it makes you think. But I'm not into politics like that. I'm not too much into that stuff. You know what I mean? Just like some people are not into religion. Some people are not into politics. But religion and politics are one of two of the most uh, subjects that people can go at it all day what's up to sheila davis shout out to you hope all as well what's up to gino p what's up to g money hollywood dj grant all right classified information says worrying about the wrong thing we are totally overpopulated over a three-year span he needs to be banning people from moving here bust them to uh atlanta or something well you know some people was complaining about that with the uh immigration uh, I think I read in the news or, or browsing the news that they was going to give, you know, I think uh, some type of money or some type of funding uh, and what have you. You know what I mean? But could we be mad at a situation like that at the end of the day? Could we be mad at something uh, as far as like when people come over here from different areas and they get, you know, funded and whatnot? You know what I mean? Let me know. All right. What's up to the time? What's up to uh, Toya? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Uh, Leo, uh, what is that? Leon, he says, blessings, brother. So when the bridge collapsed, if you take a second and, uh, and looking before the boat hit the bridge, there was a spark on the boat, excuse me, on the bridge, uh, that lit up an explosion first took place. Um, then the boat hit. So what you're telling me is that before, before the, before the ship hit, you're telling me an explosion took place. So around the same time around us what, what a coincidence around the same time now correct me if i'm wrong around the same time that the, the power went out on the ship and stuff like that and it collided with the ship are you telling me that at that at that same time an explosion happened is that what you're telling me at about one o'clock in the morning you know what i mean so are you saying that um it was the fault of an explosion or are you saying uh it just was a coincidence let me know at um then it 
Uh, Leonardo, shout out to you. What's up, the prodigal son? Shout out to you. What up? What up? What up? What up? The uh, what up? The Kimball. Shout out to you. What's up, the Jonah? Jonah, I was I was looking for you, man. I was looking for you, man. All right. Shout out to Jonah. Hope all is well. Uh, with Jonah. Um, what's up to um, who I miss? What's up, the Otis? Shout out to you. Henry Ross says I heard the bridge wasn't designed right from the beginning. Well, I don't know. I don't know because they all now they also got to look at that. Is a bridge. I think it's like um, what is it, in Delaware? I think is a is a bridge from Delaware that goes to Virginia or something like that. It's a long bridge. It's a long bridge and it's just nothing but water. And, you know, when I think about that, I'm like, they're kind of similar when I went over those bridges and whatnot. You know, you got a lot of those bridges that, you know, have some similarities and what have you, you know. So they're going to come up and try to find out all different type of things and what have you with this situation. You know, some people, well, uh, it was a conspiracy. It was this and that. You hear it over and over the Internet. Every time something happens. Some people always got to say something is a conspiracy. The government did it. America did it. Trump is up to it. This and that X, Y, Z. Listen, just face the facts. Things is going to happen in life. You know, bridge is going to collapse. Uh, planes are going to fall down. X, Y, Z, and so on. You understand? You got to expect the unexpected. Anything can happen. Anything. Anything can definitely uh, happen, you know what I mean, on an everyday um, basis and what have you. So I don't I don't walk I don't walk around here. I don't walk around in life um like nothing can happen. Or this this stuff only happens to this type of race. Or this stuff happens only this to this type of race. I don't I don't think that I just don't at the end of the day. You know, so uh, I just always think that you know anything can happen on at any given time on any given day. All right, that's just my way of thinking. That's just me. All right. Furthermore, uh, Bible Battle says I could see uh, P Diddy dance to the. <laughs> I ain't listen. I ain't, I ain't gonna read that, dude. I ain't gonna read that. So we furthermore to the story. It says Baltimore Bridge collapse survivor describes watching ship get closer. Says Maryland governor. So there was a survivor. There was a survivor. I think it was two survivors. I heard the news said that, that there was a couple. You know, um, just imagine the slim chances of a person uh, surviving that. You know, the, the the mercy and the grace that God had over them, and what have you. Just imagine, because that thing went down quick. I don't care how athletic you are, how good you could swim. At the end of the day. Uh, and unless you're in an awkward position that is keeping you afloat, <laughs> you know, or your car catch one of them beams and you could grab on to one of them because it was mentioned in the news broadcast that, you know, uh, those waters was cold and you only had about seven minutes to survive if you was caught in the waters um, and what have you, you know. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of us is looking forward to hearing the survivors whenever they decide to uh, conduct an interview, because I'm pretty sure they're in shock right now. You know what I mean? They, they might be battling, uh, what is that, po post-traumatic stress or something like that, however you, word it, however you say it. You know what I mean? Going through a situation like that, you know? And I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of us would be that way, you know, to make it out of a situation. Never mind the money you're going to get. You're thankful that, you know, you you still here. You know what I mean? That you could still see your family. At the end of the day, and when you see jokes and people playing games with this type of story, I mean, you just want to give them the business, man. You just really want to give those type of people the business for sure. All right, what's up? To, uh, what's up, Natalia? What up? What up? What up? Shout out to you. What's up, the Gladys? Hope all is well. Cat Slate, what up? What up, Sandra Williams? Shout out to you. Um. Michael Hollisworth says, pray for the uh, victims, excuse me, family that that um, lost their loved ones of the collapsing of the Maryland Bridge. And I know a lot of people is going to be, you know, every time they cross a bridge, they're going to think, they're going to wonder, is this bridge going to collapse? 
now this this has sent a shockwave to a lot of us. You know what I mean? I'm always crossing bridges all the time. You know, I can't I can't live in fear. That's just my mindset. If something is meant to happen, if God is going to allow it, then I just got to accept it at the end of the day. But I will not live in fear as far as like, wow, some people are paranoid crossing bridges. I knew of one person before this situation. They probably watching in the background. <laughs> they probably watching in the background, you know, a long time ago. This person, which is paranoid of bridges. I mean, they had a serious phobia. You know what I mean? That they had to close their eyes and cringe because they didn't like to cross bridges at all. You know what I mean? Listen, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. That's just that's just how I think. That's just me. You know what I mean? I don't like flying airplanes, but if I got to get on one, hey, you know what I mean? I may be scared calling for my mama. Mommy, where's my mommy at? You know, but hey, I gotta I gotta get on that airplane and fly, you know, for sure. But that's 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 just me at the end of the day. I don't like airplanes, I don't like boats neither. All right, excuse me for these pop-ups, it's not my fault. You know, they got these pop-ups coming up on his website, um, people.com. So this is the governor of uh, Maryland, Wes Moore. And he, I guess he's had a conference. I mean, look at that right there, man. That's it. That's a huge ship right there carrying um cargo uh for uh tractor trailers and whatnot. I believe it's intermodal, you know, intermodal trucks. You know, if you if you're a driver for like intermodal and whatnot, and you go to those places to pick up them things and you know, take them wherever they need to be taken and things like that. That's what they are carrying. All right. Okay. Furthermore, wow, look at that right there, man. That's crazy right there. That's crazy right there, man. I mean, just think about it, man. You know, and that and that and that happened at nighttime. All right. Latanya says, Diddy, he says, left his son behind, his son behind just for a cover-up. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Uh Jonah says, uh, that's because it's the enemy wanting to mess with things. Mm. Tanya says the bridge situation is devastating for several reasons. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Um, he says no time. Nope, not at all. You understand? You probably got a. You probably had a, a, a maybe a good minute after everything stopped. And you know the best thing to do, honestly, is to pray. Pray and hope you make it out of there some way, somehow. And I would like to hear you know the stories of those survivors. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. For sure. You know, like I said, a lot of them did not know they was going to die like that. Just that quick. Just that fast. Life just vanished as a vapor. You know what I mean? One minute you're smiling. Next minute you're gone. You know what I mean? People play people play around with life like it's fun and games all day. It's, it's good to laugh. You know what I'm saying? It's good to ha ha laugh. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's good to crack jokes. You know what I mean? Your mother, you know what I'm saying? Your mother, you got a big lip. You know what I'm saying? You crack on people. You know, laugh at people. But all day, every day, no. You understand? Every day, no. All day, no. You know what I mean? Because you just never know when your time is going to come. All right? Just never know. So, of course, much prayers to the families out there, uh, for sure. Once and once again, I hope they knew Christ. I hope they had, you know, the qualifications to make it in and stuff like that. I hope they prayed before they, you know, I hope they had a chance to pray. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you, you don't have a chance to pray. You don't have that opportunity. Look what happened to that female out there in New York with that situation when the man stabbed her straight in the heart. Straight in the heart. The, 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 the young lady died in an argument, died fighting. You know, you died in rage quickly, stabbed in the heart and stabbed in the neck. The man stabbed her in the heart, didn't have time to repent. She was coming from a party. Uh, you know, I guess, you know, one of the people, I think it was uh, you, Gino P, who mentioned that. And uh, whatever she was doing, party, whatever, two o'clock in the morning, going to a bodega, you ain't doing nothing holy at that time in Brooklyn. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You understand? No way. You ain't doing nothing holy two o'clock in the morning in Brooklyn or in New York, Bronx, wherever it took place. You understand that? Going to a bodega. You know, if you're that hungry, Uber Eats. Or, or cook something in the house. You understand? Just imagine. No time to repent. 
you know, stabbed in the heart. Imagine a kitchen knife going through your heart. And then a man standing over you. Then he stabbed you in the neck. You're done. You're gone. That's it. You know what I mean? And people play around with life like it's uh, fun and games uh, and what have you. It's serious out here, man. You know what I mean? It's serious for sure. All right, let's go to more comments. Um, Bible Battle says that's the main bridge. That's a main bridge too. Like I said, I I, I kind of remember maybe crossing that bridge only if there was like, you know, uh, 95 was busy or something like that. And I'm trying to get into New Jersey. Or I'm trying to get back um, to North Carolina. But I don't remember taking that bridge going to New Jersey and coming back. I might have took that bridge when I was working uh, years ago as a trucker. Might have. All right. What's up to Ernest Beard? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up to Fitz Jerry? says, greetings. I live in Maryland. And it's a it's a very it's very sad um, to hear about this news. I can see why uh, there are people out there scared to cross bridges. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be a lot more scared people. A lot more people are going to be in fear of crossing bridges. You understand? They, they're not going to want to cross no bridge no more. No more, excuse me. If they happen to go to work and they got to cross a bridge, no. Nah. No, nah, they're probably going to find a job closer to home. Or taking the path train or taking a train or something like that. You know, this is going to put fear in a lot of people. A lot of people. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. All right? Uh, what up, the cat? You says nothing to joke about. Some lives was lost. Absolutely, and I and, and I can ho I hope I find that photo on uh, Facebook, where though um, somebody put that up. Right, I forgot the person's name. I I really forgot the person's name. You know, um, let me see if I can find this person's name. Forgive me. If I can find this person, I want to show the, the, the video of it, or I want to show uh, um, the ignorance of people who was making those uh, funny videos, what they thought they was funny. All right. Sandra says, uh, be here today, going tomorrow. Absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. You know what I mean? Um, Latanya. Um, he says that bridge should have been fixed years ago. Government money is going nowhere, but not fixing things uh, in the United States. Absolutely. I definitely agree. You know, with you. All right. Um, Michelle B says, I never like to cross over a bridge. Mm. Tanya says uh, it's a major bridge and goods, etc. will be very late getting to their destinations. Mm. Just imagine. Just imagine that. Wow. You says tomorrow isn't promised to nobody. I agree. He says Diddy is a distraction for what is going on and, and what is coming. Mm. Bible battles. He says it's all by design. He says Palmer. New Jersey has approved a gas tax pushing people to e-car so they can control where you go. Mm. A. Brown says uh, greetings. Uh, he says, in oh, all those who, uh, this blessed chat room in this blessed chat room, excuse me, hope all is well by God's grace. Uh, Tanya says, I just heard that there are tunnels on the ground that lead to other celebrities' home. Well, that could be true, that could be true. You understand, that could be true. You know, do I see something wrong with that? Eh. I don't know. <laughs> you understand? I don't know. You know, people got big money. They got big money and they do certain things like that. You know what I mean? They do certain things like that. All right. Cat Cat says about 30 minutes ago, give and take my internet was lost. Okay, you talking about your internet. Okay. Understandable. Um he says P. Diddy will never uh settle down and have a family because sin is not satisfied. Wow. G Money says the bridge collapse rem reminds me of when uh, the Levi's broke in New Orleans. The levees broke in New Orleans. These kind of in in infrastructures have to have routine maintenance and must be properly um, monitored um, so it can sustain disasters. Mm. 
That's what's up. Um, you said uh, Henry Ross says, yeah, the world is going down. Uh, you even got Prince Williams who has some type of cancer, but they caught it in time. And his wife has it and the king has it. Man, it's almost over. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Uh. You said you got us on politics. What? <laughs> you said you got us on politics. All right. It says one of my comments disappeared on here. I don't know. I don't know. I know sometimes, you know, when I write on here, um, it doesn't come on here sometimes. So I, I, I don't know. That I don't know at uh, Christopher Span. You know what I mean? Um, what's up to uh, David B? Shout out to you. He says, nah, Tony, uh, we not even help our own people, but giving um, illegal immigrants $350 a week on, on a debate card. Uh, wow. $350 a week. Mm. What do I think about that? Mm. Man, I mean, it, listen, I, I'm not trying to sound cliche or anything like I don't care. Or what have you i do agree that you know there are people out there who who deserve some assistance i do agree upon that i really do you understand i really do but i also agree that you know people shouldn't be lazy at the end of the day because there are a lot of there, there are a lot of jobs out here that people can get you know what i mean um it sucks you know situations like that because there are people who are who are in need like homeless people out there now some people granted that some people want to be homeless you know what i mean I've, I've heard situations where people just you know i want to be homeless i don't got to worry about bills i don't got to worry about taking care of a family nothing like that some people want to be homeless whereas though they can go out there and panhandle get a couple of dollars and you know not even worrying about paying bills or anything like that some people are content we're living out there on the street where some people are not. It could be hard for them. You know what I mean? Um, disabled veterans. You know what I mean? People who just came out of, you know, prison and really trying to change their life over. You know? Uh, people who graduated from uh, college. You know, because a, a college a college degree does not mean you're going to get a good job. There are a lot of people who graduated from college, right? And their major, they don't even go into you know what I mean? They, they, once they graduate, you know, a lot of people got to learn that because a lot of people just think, oh, wow, I'm book smart. I'm smart. I'm going to get a, a degree in psychology. I'm going to have me a good job. And next thing you know, you, when you graduate, you're trying to get a job. You can't get it. Now you got to go work at Amazon. You understand? So some people are in situations like that. And I do agree. A lot of people do need some assistance. You know what I mean? The only reason I'm saying that is because this was times where I needed assistance. You know what I'm saying? I might listen, my my rent was behind, um, my bank account was in a negative and everything. You know what I mean? But of course, me, me, I'm I'm listen, I'm a man. I had to I had to man up, I had to go out there and get it, man. Go out there and work. If I I feel as though if I could do it, then the next person could do it. If I could walk one hour to work. Why can't this person do it? Why I gotta do it with kids? You understand? This person don't got no kids. That's just how that's just how my mindset was. You know what I mean? I got a few kids. Why I gotta go out and work? You know, but I still went out and did it. Why this person ain't got no kids and they complaining? You know what I mean? They got their legs, they got their arms, they look like they're in okay shape to go work, you know, but they claiming um, you know, something wrong with them. All that means is just they lazy. That's it. At the end of the day, so you got those type of people out there that want to be lazy, that just want to live off the government, welfare, uh, WIC, food stamps, and stuff like that. They want to live off the government, but like I said earlier, you got people out there who really need assistance, um, and whatnot. So I, I, I agree, you know what I'm saying? I definitely agree with you on that one, all right? Um, what's up, the uh, what's up, the Pilu? What up, what up? Hope all is well. I hope all is well with you. You know what I mean? All right, we're just talking about a couple of situations. Um, let me see. Gino P. He says the bridge did look flimsy. May God help 
and heal the family members. Wonderful. Wonderful. Appreciate that. That classified information. Thank you for supporting this YouTube channel, Tony Harbor Network. God bless you and your family. It's a wonderful blessing that you and others, you know, chiming in uh, with the membership and getting those super stickers and whatnot. Definitely appreciate that. All right. Michael Hollinsworth. He says, we are seeing these things happening because the Holy Scriptures is uh, fulfilling. Mm. What's up? One up. What up? What up? What up? Shout out to you. He says, that cargo ship is the size of the entire state, Empire State Building. And those who don't know where the Empire State Building is in New York City. All right. It's in New York City because I know we got some people from overseas. All right. Appreciate that at Jonah. Appreciate that at Brother Jonah, who is the new, who is a who is a new moderator to this uh YouTube channel, Tony Harvard Network. Now, when I go on my other one, when I go on my other one, when, when they go, when Lord willing, hopefully the truth of God go live on Sunday or whatnot. Or if they go on Saturday and then, you know, make you a moderator on that one uh, for sure. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it's, it's easier to make a person a moderator in the chat room versus doing it in the settings. Because sometimes you can't find that person's name. All right. So definitely. All right. I'm always, listen, I'm always looking for moderators and whatnot. I'm always scouting people. You know, I'm always scouting people. You know, I'm always, I probably scout your Facebook, your social media to see if you're up to par. You know what I mean? All right. Um, David B says, um, as believers, um, we should realize that we live in um, a fallen world and that things will never get better under any man, under any uh, man made rule. I agree. I definitely agree with that, man, for sure. You know, some people say, well, well, we're praying for this, we're praying for that. At the end of the day, you know, but somebody mentioned, listen, the Bible is being fulfilled. You know, you hear you hearing a lot of things out here, and people still not taking heed. At least give an effort to, at least say, "Listen, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying my best." At least give an effort. At least give an effort to give to get right. You know what I mean? We got time. We're still breathing. At the end of the day, right now, we still have more time from the grace of God and whatnot. Is is you should appreciate it every second we get for sure. You know what I mean? All right, um, Adam twenty two. He says something good. I know Adam twenty two. He, he he you know he do a lot of interviews with rappers and whatnot. But you know he was I think I don't know it was the interview with Tazaria when Tazaria and um Whack Whack one hundred was on. But Adam twenty two said something good. You know what I mean? He says if I don't think he believe in God, but he says something. If you believe in God, then you should you should want to. Um, get close to him every day. You should now. This is from a possible atheist who says something like this. Adam twenty two. If if you believe in God, you should want to get close to him every day. You know what I mean? Which is a which is a, a true a true fact right there. That's a true statement. You know what I mean? I can't take nothing away from that comment at the end of the day. And this is from an atheist, man. I think he's an atheist. You understand? Wow. All right. Oh, um, what's up, the Prince Sean? Shout out to you. Uh, Jonah says we are um, strangers in this in this sinful world, awaiting that blessed hope. Um, I don't I don't really use words like that at one up. You understand? We don't we don't use words like that. You know what I mean? But I'm good. I'm maintaining. All right. Uh, what's up, the Prince Sean? Shout out to you. Uh, what's up, the Tanya? He says, when the video was played back to show what happened, um, it bothered me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, for sure. Uh, Michelle B. says, this is why we need to get our life right with God. Diva says, every working moment we're alive, we must not forget um, that we're always uh, one moment from slipping into all eternity. Wow. That's deep right there. Wow. I definitely uh, agree with you on that one. You know what I mean? Um, who else I missed? You says update. They recovered two bodies from the uh, from the water uh, of the uh, bridge collapse. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's go to let's go let's talk about them Trump Bibles. Somebody told me about Donald Trump. All right, Donald Trump. Donald Trump is selling Bibles, man. 
Donald Trump is selling Bibles. Wow. Let me get to these comments right quick, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still at 9.04 p.m. I know it's 9.21. But, you know, the comments got timers on it. Got the time on it on the stream y'all end. So I'm just going down right quick. Um, What is this person talking about, man? What are you talking about? Uh, super love. We are talking about news stories. We're not talking about that. So if you don't have anything uh, to say in reference to what's going on in the news stories, then don't comment. You know what I mean? We 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 don't do that <laughs> and stuff like this. Whenever we decide to make a video upon that, that's when we'll make a video. You understand? That's when we'll make a video. Until then, you know what I mean? Take a hike. You understand? All right. Um, next, next comment. Um, all right. Uh, what's up to Coco B? Shout out to you. He says, peace, everyone. They may suffer from uh, survivor's guilt, PTSD. My prayer goes out to the loved ones of those that lost their lives. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. For sure. Um, what's up to Cato? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, hmm. You said, um, I think I hit Jonah by an accident or, or, or there's a glitch with my page. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, you said something funny going on with messages and screen commands. Well, I, I don't know. Um, hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Um, you said, what's up with these Trump Bibles? Donald Trump. Donald Trump is selling Bibles for $60. Now, what idiot, what fool will buy a Bible from Donald Trump. You understand? Listen, if you want to, listen, it's, 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 it's a whole bunch of tickets to hell. And there goes one of them right here. Donald Dump Bible. A Donald Dump Bible. Look, Listen, look what the world is coming to. Now, Donald Dump feels as though he can make a Bible. Now you're going to see all these other people trying to make a Bible. And what have you. Donald Dump. What, what person out in a right mind if you're in your right mind, what person would even consider, man, I'm, listen, I'm going to get me a, a, a Bible from Donald Trump. Let me go buy a Donald Trump Bible. What's so holy about that? Is that going to get you in, into the kingdom? P listen, picture a Donald Trump Bible can get you into the kingdom of heaven. You understand? Picture that. But you know how silly people are. There's going to be a, 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 a wild load of people, preferably his supporters, who's going to go out there and buy his Bible. That's crazy, man. And I, I, somebody was the one who, who, I think that was you, Henry Ross, who told me about that, or was somebody else. Uh, Sands Refrigerator says, our way of travel is getting scarier and scarier. Doors flying off of airplanes, trains are derailing, and cruise ships are getting stuck in the middle of the ocean. It's scary. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Listen, stay prayed up. You know what I mean? It's a wake up call for a lot of people. It's a wake up call. But, you know, you still got some people out there, you know, acting willy nilly, you know, lollygagging and what have you. You know, some people won't wake up tomorrow morning. You know what I mean? But you got a lot of people just lollygagging. You know what I mean? Not Not showing God no attention at all. Not even thinking about the Lord, you know what I mean, all day. Not even thinking God, not one time during the day. You understand that? Not one time. Just one time, thank God. Just once a day, at least. Then build your way up. Work your way up. You know what I mean? They only want to thank God when they hit the lottery or something like that. Or get or get some money. Or get a stimulus package or something. Or when payday come. Tomorrow's payday for a lot of people. I don't like, thank God. man. I, 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 I couldn't do this. I need my money more. You understand? That's the only time uh, people seem to thank God is when that money come. You know, people checking their bank accounts right now because they know they got direct deposit and that money going to hit around 12 o'clock. If you got cash app, it come two days before. Or if you got credit union, you understand? <laughs> but some people don't got that. They waiting on that money to come. 
You know what I mean? They got things to do. You understand? That's the only, that's really the only time a lot of people think God. You know, is when that money come. All right. Um. So Newsweek, we're gonna click on Newsweek. Shout out to Newsweek for this uh, article. You know, it came out about two sixteen. Um, excuse me, published at eight oh eight earlier today, and uh, updated at uh, two sixteen p.m. So shout out to Newsweek for this article. It says Donald Trump selling Bible sparks fury from Christians, blasphemous griff. Well, listen, they're right. They write about it. Whoever listen, whoever those whoever those Christians were, they absolutely write about it. It says former President Donald Trump latest venture selling Bibles has sparked the fury of Christians. Trump, who who became a Republican nominee earlier in March. Um, excuse me for this pop up. Oh man, they got these pop ups coming up. All right, they said, um, where was I? It says posted a video on this uh, truth. A social uh, platform on Tuesday urging his supporters to buy the God bless the USA Bible. What? God bless the USA Bible? Oh, man, listen. I know some people out there do coke. Some people out there do heroin. Some people out there doing that, smoking that sticky Iggy. You know what I mean? They're getting that California, you know what I mean, ganja. I don't know what this guy is on right now besides the devil. You know what I mean? And ain't nothing stronger. Than, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing strong. Ain't nothing. Puff, puff, pass. That ain't strong. Angel dust. That ain't strong. Whatever this guy is on, God bless the USA Bible. Who's going out there to buy something like that? You know what I mean? Unless, unless, unless you're going out there to say, listen, I want to see what he's talking about in here just for educational purposes. Not that you're interested. You know what I mean? Because a lot of kids, you got you got to study your enemy. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, but who will go out there and get this Bible? You know what I mean? Say, listen, oh man, this is listen, this is the way. This is the way to the Lord. Who would, who will actually go out there, buy Donald Dump Bible and said, listen, this is the way to Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? I just don't get it. Um, not one bit. You know what I mean? Who would actually? Go out there to buy that um, Bible and whatnot. All right. Um, uh, Leo says, um, we don't know what these immigrants came from. Their situation can be way worse um, than what we may have been through. Those countries are in war, drug war. Families are dying and they have no choice. Uh, wow. They have no choice. Well, um, what is his name? Um what is his name? Um, your Donis Ugas, your Donis Ugas, boxer from Cuba. You know he escaped Cuba uh, and whatnot. He gave his he gave his little story. I think it was uh, when he was about to fight Earl Spence. So he was one of them. You know, if you want to call him an illegal immigrant and whatnot, he escaped that. Your Donis Ugas. You know what I mean? And um, you're right. You just never know uh, what people are going through. And that's their only choice but to try to escape to come to America. You know, and there's a lot of them out there. But blessedly, he, you know, he got his paperwork right and everything uh, among a lot of other people. You know, but it's like if you're going through situations like that, what, what would you do if you can put yourself in that position? You know what I mean? Just thinking, thinking process, uh, what those individuals go through. Because I remember visiting Belize and uh, we went into the hood, hood areas because we had to get to this, you know, this place for tourists. And we had to travel through the hoods and what have you. And it's bad over there. It's terrible. You understand? It is terrible. Listen, we are fortunate. And this is this is even before me coming to the truth of God. You know what I mean? After that day of seeing Belize, how they live, we're absolutely fortunate. And we are, a lot of us are very spoiled over here in America. You know what I mean? Very, very sport. You know, don't, don't people don't even have places to live like how we live. You understand? They, they, they can't even eat the food that we eat. A lot of us can go out there and get red lobster, cook a T-bone steak and cook bacon and all that. They can't. You understand? Not that it's about that, but we are very privileged over here. So I understand 
you know, uh, what you're saying at uh, Leo and somebody else was talking about it earlier. All right. Um, let me see if I miss anybody else. Excuse me. Um, let's see. What's up, Nicole Martin? One of my channel moderators. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Shout out to all my channel moderators. You know what I mean? Definitely appreciate the work y'all do. You know what I mean? It's definitely uh, it's definitely work. You know what I mean? But, you know, um, I'm always scouting for different moderators and stuff like that. You know, um, I don't beg for them and what have you, but I just like good and loyal people. You know what I mean? Loyalty is very thin in these days, so it's hard to come across loyal people. So I definitely appreciate uh, all my moderators out there. It's definitely a blessing. All right? You know what I mean? Um, TNT, he says, I need to get on the mod team. <laughs> My thing is, my only thing is, you know, when one becomes a moderator, you know, um, if a person is feeling like personal about somebody, don't block them. You understand? For example, if a woman come on here or if a man come on here with, with his, uh, you know, wife beater on or a woman come on here with her cleavage out, don't block them. You understand? Because you just never know that this could be an encouraging platform to them. Them coming on here all the time, conversating and things like that. You know, this is how a lot of people, you know, this is how y'all come together, came together, excuse me. It started from my first channel, live conversations and whatnot. You know what I mean? We started off small and whatnot, and then it, it it grew. But I decided to take it and put it over here now. You know what I mean? This is how people conversating and things like that and what have you. How do you get on the mod team um, and, and what have you? I mean, if you're interested, just let me know. If you're interested, I mean, you've been a stand-up person uh, coming on here and, I mean, you come on often and, you know, you check out the videos and, and things like that. You know what I mean? That's how that's how I look at people. You know what I mean? Um, to see if, you know, they're interested in becoming a moderator um, and what have you. One just can't come on here one time and, okay, you know what I mean? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 uh, you know, Christopher Wright, um, he was a moderator, but he wasn't with the Trooper Guard. But he agreed on a lot. And he was cool and he was, you know, he was he was a good dude as far as like being a moderator. You know what I mean? All right. So if you're interested, let me know. All right. Um <laughs> he said, I vote Gino P, TNT, and Gen Juice. Oh, <laughs> oh man, you're funny. Appreciate that. They voting people. Appreciate that at Michelle B. Shout out to you. Thank you for the support of this YouTube channel, Tony Harbor Network. It's definitely uh, a blessing you understand god bless you and your family and i hope you come on more and more check out these videos and them shorts and i got i got a lot more ideas you know i got i, I got this one idea man that just gonna probably is it i think is it i got this one idea that i think it could be it you understand i'm just putting my thoughts together so definitely appreciate the support you know uh michelle b all right ag what up you says um that ship lost power twice as it approached the bridge Mm. Um, Jonah, you says, you know, um, we are living in a wicked world when Trump is at the one is at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. That is crazy for sure. God, that was funny, man. Classified information. Somebody wants to get ushered out. Uh, absolutely. Um, who I miss. David B says, I just thought that you would want to support the Trump re-election campaign since he's getting uh, a percentage of the sales. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy right there. Um, he said Trump Bibles. Mm, I ain't gonna, he says for Easter campaign donations. Lee Rose, I don't know what you're talking about. What's up to V Coleman? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up to T Hall? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Um, what's up to Blessed Tone? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Uh, you said, is it a King James Bible? Someone check. What? <laughs> Listen, Donald Duck Bible, I, I doubt it. It's gonna be a King James, man. It ain't got to be some things he changed up in there for sure. It got to be some things he changed up in there. There's no way this man gonna come out. And reprint the King James Version Bible. 
he got to change some things up in there. Just like other, um, you know, modern Bibles. They either take out some scriptures, switch some things around, and it don't line up um, with the King James, which is one of the most, to my knowledge, one of the most accurate Bibles. You understand? All right. Um, He says, buying the Deltra's Bible. <laughs> uh, David B., let me go to your comment right quick. Um, you said we live in a strange world. We live in a strange world. You got that right for sure. You know, um, Gino P says uh, Trump has no shame selling Bibles. He'll sell anything just to pay for all the money for all money he owes. Huh? That's a good point right there. <laughs> That's a good point right there for sure. What's up, the kiddo? He says he's selling Bibles to help him out with his uh, a lawyer. And campaign fees. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, Tanya says Trump uh, should be ashamed of himself. I guess he needs more money to pay off his court courses. Mm. David B said there's a troll named Lee in here. You know what? There's always a troll, man. Like we could be talking about, you know, this new stuff and whatnot. And they're coming here to talk about Gino. Like we're talking about the news here, man. Ain't nobody talking about, you know, that type of stuff. But they're just so infatuated. They're just so uh, hung up over the truth of God and whatnot. Like, sit back and have a conversation about what's going on. You know what I mean? We talked about the Maryland Bridge, and all you got to say is something about, you know what I mean, uh, the truth of God. Like, come on, be real with yourself. You understand? And that's why I curved that person earlier, super love, because we're not here to talk about that right now. Now, when we make a video about that, then we could discuss that. But I don't want to detour from what we're talking about you know what I'm saying on here, all right. Um, let me block this person. I had to block that person for show. Sure. I, I had to, I had to block Lee Rhodes. I don't care if you did get a super, uh, a super sticker, whatever the case may be. Like I said, I, no profanity on here. You know what I mean? No profanity at all. We don't do that. All right, we don't do no profanity on here for sure. So if you if you feel as though you made a mistake, you can email me Tony Harvin at yahoo.com. We don't we don't use profanity. Uh, I remember your name, I remember seeing you on here, you know, saying something. So you're not a you're, you're not a new person, you know what I mean? If you was a new person and you started cursing and whatnot, you know, what I mean you might get a little leeway because you're new, but you've been on here before, you heard me say things like this. Like you, people could say anything they want, just as long as you don't use profanity or get disrespectful. That's it. You understand? All right. Um. Let's see. Let's see. He says, "How is that when America is of the?" <laughs> well, B. Coleman says, "I, I, um, I won't, I won't, I won't waste my time buying something like that. I wouldn't want to read it." progress on witchcraft stuff in that book classified information says folks are buying those uh deplorable sneakers i'm sure they're getting uh his by bible bible too he's uh hitting the major uh demographics mm. what up the jose you says isn't td jake's snake excuse me buddies with diddy um I mean, we see them in photos and whatnot and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure Mr. Jinx does not want to be associated with Mr. Coleman right now. You understand? And, uh, you know, people, I'm pretty sure they was warning him. You know, why are you out there hanging out with him? You know what I'm saying? I wonder, I want to know what Mr. Jinx got to say about now what's happening to uh, Sean Combs right now. I, I, I want to know what does he have to say uh, now? You understand because Mr. Combs uh, is in a, in a lot is in a lot of stuff right now. You know what I mean? And uh, you know you got some people who you know try to take up for him and you know this and that and that and this. But money money do talk. You know what I mean? Money uh, do talk for sure. So this is Mr. Combs. I think I shared the screen. Mr. Combs. All right, uh, V. Coleman. He says, "What do you think about?" Let me see. He says, what do you think about um, Baltimore 
bridge here in Baltimore. We talked about that. Yeah, we already covered that earlier uh, in the beginning. So we talked about that already. Uh, we talked about Donald Dump Bibles um, and whatnot. Now we're here talking about, you know, Diddy and his situation and whatnot and what's going on with him. You know, um, it says Fed search uh, Sean Diddy Combs properties as part of uh, trafficking probe. Mm, wow. That's serious right there, man. That's serious right there, man. Now, now, I didn't, I didn't know that part too much right there. You understand? Dealing with um, trafficking, you know, and you got, you got a lot of those folks out there, rich folks, folks with money. You know what I'm saying? Dabbling in that type of stuff. What? Listen, what would make a person want to dabble in something like that, trafficking and whatnot? Like I stated earlier, listen, you got money, you're rich. Listen, get a beautiful woman. You know what I mean? Kick back with her. Simple as that. You know, but these, these fellas want to get into all this extra stuff. They want to deal with trafficking. Look at the stuff R. Kelly did and whatnot. Just sit back, enjoy your money, enjoy your fame, stuff like that, and do you with your wife. Simple as that. At the end of the day. You know what I mean? But he's in hot water right now. And he's not going to be the last one um, in hot water. All right, let's go to more. What's up to Rachel Winter? Shout out to you. Um, let me see if I can put this coming up. Let's see. Rachel Winter, you says Donald Trump Bible contains historical documents, including uh, the United States Constitution Declaration of Independence and Pledge of Allegiance, which it shouldn't have. Oh, wow. Historical documents. AG stated said only a few of the actually qualify for asylum democrats and biden um bringing these foreigners here even using airplanes wow coco b says i don't think trump know much about the bible he once talked about the bible holding it upside down while claiming to be reading from it <laughs> that's funny right there you say he spoke of um example he says, uh, first John and called it one in Job. <laughs> wow, you gotta excuse my connection again. Um, let's see, classified information says, wait until you uh see some places in Nigeria. I cried, wow, wow. Michael Hollinsworth says, I didn't know, I don't know how true it is, but. Um, didn't they find 12 bodies at the uh, Maryland Bridge and two was found alive? 12? Let me see if I can find that right now. Let me see. Um, 12 bodies was found. Let me see. 12 bodies found Maryland Bridge. Let me type that in on Google right now. All right. Let me see if I could. If that comes up. Um, No, that's not coming up. They said um, they, re they, re they recovered, Baltimore crews recovered bodies of two killed in bridge collapse. Two. That's what I read. All right. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. He says, I sent you the bridge video on your Facebook messenger. Well, huh. let me see if I can uh, get it right now. And uh, hopefully I could download the video because I don't want to share my screen on this Facebook joint. All right. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on it right now. All right. Um, Tanya, he says, a lot of people are making Trump idle. And um, that's not good at all. God is not mocked and God's wrath will catch up with him. Mm. Wow. Wow. He says, hey, can you possibly have trivias again? Man, you how you remember that, man? <laughs> how you remember that? That's that's a that's a throwback. Now you can tell you've been watching, you can tell you've been watching the YouTube channels, man. A lot of people don't know about that, man. Yeah, I I did the I did the Bible trivias before. I wanted to try it out. I, I like to try new things out, man, sometimes um and whatnot. That'd be a good thing to do, man, for sure. Bible trivias and what have you. But I me personally. <laughs> That's something I would like to uh, talk about 
I'll probably talk to PJ about that one just to get his advice on it. You know what I mean? For sure. All right. But, you know, uh, that I, that's definitely, I'm glad you're refreshing my memory uh, upon that. You know, Bible trivias and what have you. Whereas though we just ask questions in reference to the Bibles, you know what I mean? And, you know, help strengthen people's knowledge and whatnot. But I, I, I'll think about it, man, Lord willing. All right. Um, um, it says, uh, what up? The um, what is that? Nelda, Nelda, why this ship not know the clearance seems entitled? What ship, what country this ship is from? Well, see, the thing is, they um, they lost power, they lost power, you know what I mean? And um, I'm not making an excuse for them at all, you know, because the full details did not come out and what have you, but it's like, how you lose power, like right there at that exact time like right there you understand at all the times that you have traveled you lose power right there right when you're about to cross that bridge and what have you. but like i said listen the lord allows things to happen and you know definitely gotta respect it at the end of the day because we all have expiration dates um at the end of the day but that that just was like well crazy for sure all right um Classified information. He says the first book in uh, Dump's Bible will be titled Alternative Facts. Last book is called Fake News. <laughs> Fake News. Uh, uh, uh. Listen, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't put it past him at all. You know what I mean? The, the, the garbage, the trash that he comes up with at the end of the day. Uh, for sure. You know what I mean? That sounds like something Donald Trump would write. You know what I mean? Because I don't know where this man's mind is sometimes when he talks, especially coming out with a Bible. Really? You know, but like I said, some, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who go out there and, and buy it and whatnot. And a lot of people is going to read it from uh, cover to cover. First, 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 first book to the last one. And, and, and know the quotes and everything. They're going to be so caught up on that and whatnot. All right, fake news. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him at all. All right, <laughs> he said, Usher out with a super sticker. Absolutely, for sure, man. You know, what I mean, for sure. All right, um, let's see who we missed. Um, he said, Them boys calling him diddler. <laughs> <laughs> diddler i mean it was they was now they was going in on puffy man they was definitely going in on puffy for sure man definitely let me see if we can find some memes on puffy you know let me see if we can find some memes on uh uh p diddy because they, they definitely was going in on this uh guy all over uh Facebook and whatnot and um TikTok and Instagram and what have you for sure. All right. Um let me see. AG says Diddy's attorney already contacted the feds. Apparently, Diddy might not be the target. Feds took evidence from his home. Could be to protect others. Uh, wow. Interesting. Cato says they need. They need to be checking into uh, the Epstein's list as well. It's like they're trying to sweep that under the rug. Bible Battle says, don't judge a book by the cover. Mm. Why is Paula White his his spiritual advisor? Mm, mm, mm. He laughed. He said, the, the diddler. <laughs> diddler. Um, uh, who I missed? I know I saw a comment that I wanted to read. Forgive me. Uh, Gino P. You stated, right, where's T.D. Jakes now? He's always talking that, doing God's work stuff, but nowhere to be found, though. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy right there, man. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Um. He says, why all the hate for Trump? I don't get it. It says, Diddy is going to be a lot worse than R. Kelly. Mm. 
It says we should be doing, we should be doing those crazy Joe Rogan clips. What you mean by that? Joe Rogan clips. Mary says God Almighty's love and God's wrath is inevitable. Jonah says, calling a speed, a speed over here. Absolutely. He says, if I had the money, I would buy the Trump Bibles. We need to, to stop the evil. Um, uh, I don't know about that one right there. You, you listen, you're gonna ruffle some feathers with that one. You're definitely gonna ruffle some feathers with that one for sure, man. You know what I mean? When you say you'll 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 buy the Bible, a Trump Bible, excuse me, um, and whatnot. Wow. Um, he says, I would like to see Joe Rogan interview PJ. Mm. That'll be a good one right there. Joe Rogan to interview uh, Pastor Gino Jennings, man. That'd definitely be a, a good one right there for sure. All right. Um, he says, uh, Diddy is not the guy. Neither was Epstein. Both has ties to uh, Israel. Really? Uh, uh, uh. Let's see if I miss anybody else. What else we had to cover? Diddy, Trump, um, the bridge. I think it was something else I had to cover. All right. Um, I think it was a mother out there who uh who shot her daughter that I wanted to touch on a little bit. Then we're gonna conclude it. We're going to wrap it up after that. If you got any other stories out there that I may have missed, if you got any other stories out there that I may have missed, let me know in the chat room um, and whatnot for sure. All right? Um, What up, the G Swole? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. He says, I thought I missed your live. That probably got your, your feelings uh, relieved from my question. Ah, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> he says, um, on real, do you think uh this whole Diddy thing is just a stunt to throw our attention from God? Well, you know, my thing is it's always something like this. You know, before it was Young Thug, his situation going on in the courts. Before that was R. Kelly. It's always something new coming up. You know what I mean? Every week. You know, they're gonna forget about Diddy when his things uh die out. It's gonna be somebody else. Oh, it's gonna be another event after after the Maryland situation is gonna be something else. After the Diddy situation is gonna be something else, man. It's always something like that. People got to get the the media got to get these stories rolling or conjuring up attention on something. You know what I mean? So Diddy, excuse me, Diddy is not gonna be the last person, you know, that they stop at for sure. I know it's gonna be somebody um new later on down the road, uh, for sure. Um, that's going on with Diddy, but I do think the media um, is really pressing it really hard with Diddy. You know what I mean? They're pressing it really hard on Diddy for sure. You know? All right. Um, Leonardo, he says, uh, "Did you download the video? The video? Excuse me. Um, I'm checking it out right now. So you got to forgive me on this. This connection is kind of slow over here right now. All right, Coco B." Coco B, you says, no, nah, they're after Puff. Old boy has receipts on him and has made some accusation against him in his lawsuit. Oh, wow. Wow. Classified information says we should, excuse me, have a discussion about crisis actors, distractions from reality, and mass hysteria. Hmm. What 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 would be your subtitles to that? What would what would you um uh certain actors give an example of which actor you're talking about or which actress um you're talking about at uh classified information as far as like crisis actors um and what have you? Let me know. All right. Um Leonardo, we I don't I don't see your uh message. I don't see a message on um, Facebook. It's not coming up in my messages. All right. All right. Bible Battle says, oh, man, come on, man. Come on, man. Stop it, man. Stop. It. You bring me back to them school days. We used to have to stand up and say that. 
The man said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the divided states of America. And he says, and to the republic for which it stands, one devil under the devil. You know what I mean? No. No way, man. You understand? Oh, you one of those, you one of those patriots. I mean, hey, man, if you support Trump, hey, that's on you, man. You understand? If you support Trump, that's on you. Uh, for sure. All right. Leonardo, I, I don't I don't see your message, man. I, I, I don't see it. I don't see it um in my messages to uh download that video. But let me see if I can find it on uh YouTube right quick before we conclude this. We're gonna conclude this uh this live, man. It was a good conversation for sure. As always, you know, we back with more conversations that we're gonna talk about, whether it's the news, whether we're talking about Gino, whatever the case may be. You know, I definitely uh, appreciate y'all for coming on and having these conversations uh, for sure with whatever we are talking about, all right? Shout out to Khadija Reeves, another one of my um, channel moderators. I definitely appreciate that uh, for sure. You know, for you coming on, definitely uh, God bless you at uh, Khadija Reeves, all right? Um, let me see if I can find that video at um, Leonardo, all right? So I'm on YouTube. I really don't want to uh, play it from these YouTubers and whatnot because of copyrights um, and what have you. But let me see if I could catch it somewhere else. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these news places they have like um, copyrights on their stuff, so I don't really like playing it. All right, but let's see if we can catch it from somewhere else. Let me see. Let me see. All right, let's go to the comments right quick. So Leonardo, I mean, where did you, where did you find that video at? Where where is it? All right, where is it? He says check now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to play this video before I log off. All right, I'm try to play this video. Where 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 are you sending the um? Where are you sending the uh, the video at? At Leonardo because I I don't I don't see it. I don't see it at all, man. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know if you're going to the right name and what have you. All right. Um he says, I will watch the replay. I've been knocked out. Khadija Reeves is all right. All right. You say you sent it to my um my profile messenger. What name? What name? You're welcome, man. Mary Leonardo, but what name did you send it to so we could play the video? Um, I knew I, I knew I should have downloaded the video before a lot of people got got hold of it um, to copyright it. All right. Or you could tell me. Um, he says I sent it. No, 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 don't send it to that. Send it to um, send it to here. I'm gonna put the name in the chat room. You know, my my norm, my normal profile on Facebook, not the business one, my normal one. All right, send it to the normal one and what have you. Send it to the normal one. You know what? Let me never mind, man. Let me check that one out right quick. I'm gonna check it out right quick, though, man. You're gonna make me go to that. Um, but I hope everybody had a wonderful night for sure. We definitely um covered a lot of things that's going on, and um, I see I don't have any more news to talk about and what have you. You know, I want to talk about this mother who uh, who shot her daughter um, and what have you. But after after we uh, play this little video that Leonardo sent us um, and whatnot. OK. All right. I, I think I see it. I think I see it at um, Leonardo. All right. Um, I think this is it. Let me see if I can go to it right quick. Um, and what have you is on Facebook. So I'm gonna share the screen. Uh, it says it says this page isn't available right now. That's what it's saying on my end at um, Leonardo. So I can't I can't I can't view the video, man. It's not it's not playing. It's not playing, man. You understand? I thought it would play. Um, it says the content that this content isn't available right now. So 
I cannot. That's that's probably because of copyrights, as I said earlier, man. You understand? With the copyrights, like once 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 something is copyrighted, man. You know what I mean? You put it on your Facebook, you put it on your live, you put it on your YouTube. They're gonna snatch it right away. You know what I mean? For sure, they own that. You know because one thing they probably feel as though that it was it was a, it was a tragedy, and a lot of people just making you know all willy nilly about it or you know the news stuff like that. They copyright that stuff quick. They copyright it quick because they don't they don't want uh, the YouTubers or normal Facebook people to have that stuff on their stuff. You know what I mean? Because they want all the attention um, in reference to that. All right. So we're coming to a conclusion. What's up, the levy? We're coming to a conclusion. You know what I mean? After this uh, story right here. All right. So it says, um, mother. Mother kills daughter. Tennessee mother accidentally shoots her and kills her teen. While, um, let me see what that word states. What is that? Rummaging in her purse for keys. Really? Tennessee mother accidentally shoot, sh shot, killed teen daughter. While rummaging in her purse for her keys. Wow. Wow. That's crazy right there. Wow. You know what that tells me? That the mother, the mother um, didn't learn about gun safety. You understand? Gun safety um, is very important to know. All right, what's up to um what's up to Montreal? He says Pastor Gino said, don't be surprised if you if you don't hear about Trump ministries. Wow. <laughs> Trump ministries. He said they finally got him. I'm sorry, I still believe he has something to do with hmm. Oh, uh, P. Diddy? Did he have something to do with Pac's death? I don't think so. I don't think so. You understand? Because that situation happened over a chain. That situation, that, that extended over a chain, you know what I mean, in the mall with the Bloods and Crips. You understand? I believe a chain was snatched and, you know, uh, one of the guys was at the fight, the Tyson fight and what have you, and they recognized him and, you know, they got at him and Tupac joined in. I don't think Tupac should have joined in that. You understand? Considering he wasn't a game member, it had nothing to do with him. You know? But Orlando, I was Orlando, I forgot his last name and whatnot. Uh the Crip, I believe he was. He was a Crip. And um they went out, they was looking for Pop. Um, they wanted to have a, a fair fight with Pop, but it turned into, you know, the situation when Pop got killed and what have you. But do P. Diddy got something to do with Pac? I don't know. You understand that? I don't know. That that all happened in one night. It's like you gotta you gotta you gotta think about a situation. Like if 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 you know, you know how the streets are, you know what I mean? Those who've been out there in the streets and what have you, and been through situations like that. All right, that's that's the dude who did this to me. Let's go, let's go roll on him and whatnot. And then somebody happened to get killed in that situation. You know, you got to think about it like, wow, could P. Diddy have sent in a call or, or uh, put on notice? How how much of a, co a coincidence that um, the guy who, uh, you know, Tupac and them jumped at the at the Vegas fight with Tyson um, is the person who had something to do with the shooting along with the uncle who was in jail right now, Keefy D. So it's like it's something to think about, you know, for those who are into that type of stuff. I mean, me personally, I used to be like watching all the documentaries about, you know, pot killing and stuff like that and things like that. But I don't anymore too much, you know, but you hear things out here and what have you. But I, I think it was a story that um, something about Keefe D um, said that Puffy, you know, paid him or something like that. I told him uh, to do it, but I don't know. You understand that? I don't know. It's always something circulating around P. Diddy. You know what I mean? Every it's almost like every situation, uh, it's Puff Daddy has something to do with something at the end of the day. You know what I mean? But it it it, it could be. He 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 could have been. 
You know, he could have been plotting for something and things like that and what have you. But I don't know. I don't know. You understand? I don't know. You know what I mean? All right. Um. So he says, I believe the, the tube is having issues tonight because it keeps CMG in and out. What is that, CMG? What is that? Matrell says, allegedly he's supposed to uh, pay Keefe D for the... Mm. Levy says, Pot was living a double life. Pot was living a double life. Wow. Mm. I guess we're going to merge merge from this story and go to the Pot story. Keefe D. Puff Daddy. Let me go to that one right quick. Um, let's go to this, uh, thing right here. So it says explosive audio submitted as evidence alleges a uh, Diddy. All right. It says QVD confesses he was hired by Diddy for 1 million, $1 million, $1 million. Wow. So this story is on, um, November the 1st, 2023. This is from the willnews.com. Shout out to them for this uh, article and whatnot. Uh, so this is Keefe D. says, Keefe D confesses uh, to being hired by Diddy to off Tupac for $1 million. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. So I'm going to highlight this at here. Mm, it says Diddy representatives refrain from commenting on the allegations. So they call it allegations um, and whatnot. Mm, that's something crazy right there for sure. All right. You says even 50 Cent says the same thing. Excuse me. Um, it says a mill. <laughs> he said a mill in the 90s was a major come up, right? I'd say, you know, a million dollars in these days for, for a lot of people ain't nothing. You know what I mean? He said Diddy is about to diddle, about to diddle out. Wow. Diddle out. Montreal Stark says, yeah, he gave it uh, to a dude named Von Zip and Von Zip never paid him. Wow. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Man, Diddy, Diddy. Diddy. Did he, did he, did he do it? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Um, Khadija Reeves says that's another reason he's locked up and his ex-wife is too. Uh. He says, let me do the conversation. I got to know. <laughs> All right, G. Swole says, I used to be suspicious about that. But I think that was just a street thing on Tupac getting murdered. Um, but then it could have been the government mm, when Tupac got away with um, the shooting of two off-duty cops. Mm. Well, it's like this, man. I, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know. I can only go by. You know, we see the movie All Eyes on Me or documentaries and stuff like that, and it's interesting. It is interesting to us. You know what I mean? It's definitely interesting um, to us. And it, it, it goes way back to his family history with his mother. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, what is it? Afina Shakur and his, uh, what is his aunt or his grand or his godmother? Asada Shakur. You know what I mean? They've been, at, they, they, they've been after them. They've been after him probably before he was born. You understand? You know, if they couldn't catch Asada Shakur, they was going to do something to somebody in his family. Granted that they couldn't catch Asada, and they still couldn't catch it. They still can't get Asada Shakur, who's out there in Cuba. Still can't get her. You know what I mean? The U.S. got all its power, all its money, and still can't get Asada Shakur from a little area of Cuba. Cuba. Wow. You understand that? Wow. And they, listen, they really, they still to this day, want Asada Shakur locked up, being that she's old, whatever the case may be. They want Asada Shakur. You understand? That's crazy. 
All right. Um, I think I was I was watching this interview on um what it was dialogue or uh Cam Capone. I think Tress was talking about when Pac was in the hospital and he wanted to leave because he felt the doctors was gonna kill him. <laughs> And he stated that he was a baby panther and he had to get out of there. So everywhere he went, whether it was the hospital and stuff like that, he felt as though people was after him because of that, because of his mother was a uh, black panther and stuff like that from the get-go. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's a crazy situation, man. Crazy, crazy situation. Now, what, what, if, what if he wasn't Tupac? You understand? What if he was just that young kid? Uh, I saw some videos when he was a young kid. He was, you know, he wasn't like how he was as Pac at all. You know what I mean? All right. Um, let me see some more comments. He says Tupac was always trying to act tough in front of Shug, ended up taking his life. Mm. Wow. He says on another YouTube channel, Keith D explains his side of what allegedly happened. He says in today's money, a mill back then is equivalent to two million three hundred and seventy-four three hundred and thirty-eight dollars and eighteen cent. Wow. <laughs> I heard Cubans um, don't like Americans. That's probably why they they can't get her. Well, here's the thing: Cuba is not a vacation spot. You know what I mean? Fidel, Fidel Castro, you know, uh, found found some liking into Asada Shakur. Um, it's not stating that Cuba doesn't like Americans, uh, you know, at all uh, to the extent that no American can go over there. You know what I mean? Um, I, they granted her to stay there and whatnot. They didn't turn her over to America um, and what have you. You know what I mean? Do I agree with it? The way she explained her story, how she didn't do it, and how they treated her the way they, she treated they treated her and whatnot, you think about it. You think about it. Would you have ran away also if you had the opportunity? You know what I mean? You said, yes, he did do it. <laughs> oh, man, y'all funny, man. All right, we're coming to a conclusion. We're coming to a conclusion. I thank everybody for tuning in for sure, man. I definitely thank everybody for tuning in. If you got any last remarks, any last comments um, to this in the news with Tony Harvin as we covered, you know, some stories, uh, some current stories and some, you know, ongoing stories, Keefe D and whatnot, uh, P. Diddy, uh, the Maryland Bridge situation, Donald Trump Bibles and other things that we covered. You know, we're looking to have, you know, this maybe, uh, you know, maybe once or twice a week in the news situation. Whereas though we talk the whereas though we talk about current events and you know ongoing events, uh, for sure I like to thank everybody uh, for tuning in, conversating and whatnot on here is always a blessing uh, to have y'all on here uh, for sure and tune in, Lord willing, the True God will be playing uh, Sunday live, you know, which is going to be broadcasted on my primary YouTube channel, Tony Harvard. You know, what I mean, I like to thank all the new subscribers um and whatnot for sure coming to this channel tuning in um subscribing and whatnot is definitely a, a blessing much love to everybody out there good night to everybody out there god bless to everybody out there and lord willing we will be on tomorrow you know maybe i'll make another in the news type of thing i don't know you understand we're definitely um see much love to everybody out there uh you know what i mean i'm tony harvin i'm signing off on the Tony Harvin Network. Much love to everybody out there. I'm out. Peace. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to the Tony Harvin Network YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here. After you hit the subscribe button, if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell.